If your application has a user registration form, you, as a developer, will be performing some user management tasks. Big endless client libraries include an easy-to-use API facilitating the user registration process. Users can register and then log in with a single one-line method call. When users register, your backend may be configured to require email confirmation before they can log in. You can also customize the text of the email confirmation message sent to the user, as well as identity used to send out the messages. Both registration and login can be easily disabled in case you need to suspend it while performing a new version rollout or running a closed beta test. The login process can be customized with additional business rules. For instance, you can choose to allow multiple logins using the same credentials and set the maximum number of concurrent login sessions. Additionally, you can configure the rules for account lockout. In case multiple login requests fail because the user kept entering invalid passwords. Registered users of your application are displayed in the special users table available in the data section. The columns in this table are the properties of the user entity. Typically, these properties correlate one to one to the registration form fields. User properties can be defined manually using the Back Endless Console or automatically derived from the registration API calls received from your client application. Using the console, you can add new user accounts, delete or edit registered users, reset their passwords, and run searches. This concludes the user registration and login overview. Thank you, and endlessly happy coding.